Okay, welcome back. Um, Caden is no longer doing the moonwalk, so that's a shame. Um, we're going to break into Dude's computer just because he's a douchebag and kind of a dick. So this basically gives us our first assignment mission where we're supposed to go to the Hydra system, investigate some anomalous readings. So we will do that later. Um, to the right, there's some dudes, Volus, and uh, the other big dudes. We're not going to talk to them because they're lame. Why this door doesn't have a motion sensor? I don't know. Because the designers got lazy. Embassy receptionist. Screw these people. Uh, yeah, we're not going to talk to a whole bunch of people just because I don't think you guys want me to do that. So hit the rapid transport. We're going to head up to the tower and see what the heck is going on. Alright. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakari. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a Spectre. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. Set it to the old shotgun, I think. Because eventually we get in a fight up here. It's kind of neat, just kind of listening to all these guys. Yeah, graphics definitely look better. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. <laughs> nope, we're doing Paragon. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath.
The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. You I'm bitch. Glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. For a second, I thought he was going to jump. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. Sounds gay. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with them. <laughs> you won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Okay. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's just I want to know more about stuff. the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Okay, we're done. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well, we got a little bit of experience. So, alright, let's head downstairs. And hmm. probably... What are you humming, Ashley? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. What's up, dude? That guy's up to something. Yeah, he is. What guy? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? <laughs> Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. 
Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Hmm. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Alright, this one takes forever, so we're not going to go and actually find them. Um, if we bump into them, we'll scan them. If not, screw it. Does not affect the overall gameplay. So just kind of keep an eye out for them. Uh, I think there's one over there, but uh, screw it. And we're going to go to CSEC and see if we can find Garrus. Oh, the long walks in the first one. <laughs> and the long elevator rides. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these elevator rides. So bad. But this takes us almost right where we need to be, so... Plus we can check out some bootay. <laughs> There's some, always some distortion on the elevator, no matter what. Unless you oh, pan. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his gap troopers. That's so back. I hate politics. But she likes something else. Oh gosh, these elevator rides. Okay, so we'll hit this keeper, and then we will hit the mass or the rabbit transfer. Do not the yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. There's another one over there. Hey, baby. So you can hit this one if you want. Basically, it's these guys. He wants to hang here and preach. He doesn't want them to. Yeah. Alright. We are going to do this. I don't know if you have to actually go there. Let's see. Cores Den. Yeah, I guess we can go to Cores Den first. <laughs> Make more sense. Alright, if I remember right, there's some dudes that try to kill you. That's her. Bam! Own that dude in the face! Perimeter secured. <laughs> hello, hello. Shia, baby. Kaden. <laughs> Kaden got a boner. Whoa. Ending. <laughs> what a baller. I got business here, but not with you. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Shh, nice. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down and you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no clue. <laughs> what was that all about? Eight minute ETA? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm at work. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You're such a sweet little ass down inside, old Harkin. Have a drink. We'll see where this goes. Maybe later. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more Marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of CSEC. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. Garrus? <laughs> You must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be his specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. He says the Turians set him up. So that's kind of whack because she supposedly is going to be the first human specter. So that's kind of a discrepancy in the story, but whatever. Why'd they kick him out? <coughs> I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. Ah. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Okay, that is where we are heading. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. <laughs> Alright, we gotta level up. So let's go ahead and hit that. So we're gonna hit one on charm. And then... Ooh, open lights. Shotguns. That will be actually really nice. Or there's this, which... Yeah, we're gonna do this one. Get the shotguns unlocked. Um, this chick, we want her to get really close to using this armor so she can be our tank. Uh, one more and we'll have heavy armor enabled. And Caden, obviously we want to do electronics and decryption. Always, always. Uh, what does this have? Oh. Let's see. So I'm gonna do the first one on this just because the... Just a single one is way nice, so. Alright. What in the world? That is whack. Uh, is she gonna be my. Yeah, I think she's my assault rifle chick, so. Okay. Journal, I should say it could go. Let's see. Yeah, go to the med clinic. Barlevon. Keepers and that system that we found. Okay. Clear this up. What's this dude want? The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? <laughs> he owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Yeah, we'll see you later, buddy. This is such a weird sound. Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. Alright, we will do the mass or the rapid transit. Hopefully to the med clinic. Sweet. Those things really do save a lot of walking around, so they're actually really nice to use. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Dot. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or... Who are you?! Let her go. Ah! <laughs> Enemy contact! <laughs> Probably.
probably not the most tactical way to do that, but gets the job done. Hey, baby. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. You guys ever watched that show V? Uh, they remade it from like the old school V. This dude sounds just like it with a reverberating voice. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay. You guys let me know in the comments who you want me to pick as far as uh, squad mates. I think I'm going to keep uh, Garrus and Caden. Uh, but let me know in the comments uh, what you guys would like. Um, talk to this I chick. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything you need? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay. So... There's something that's really awesome about this chick. Um, later on, you can sell stuff to her because she'll give you a discount once you do a loyalty mission, essentially, for her. And then you go and buy the stuff at some dude downstairs, buy it from him, come back and sell it to her, and you get, like, tons of money. So, kind of nice, actually. Um, let's see, first aid interface three... Medical interface. Yeah, so we have much better stuff. Oh my gosh, I was buying them. I'm such a id. Uh, okay, so we want to sell that crap. Well, that's going to suck, but whatever. Um, for some reason, you have to click that each time. That's so stupid. Um, that's the only one for the... For the Krogan, so we'll keep that. Um, let's get Garrus all armored up. That is a little bit better, so we will swap him with that. Oh my gosh, he looks bad. Very bad with that. And do we have any... He's a really good sniper, sniper guy, so we are definitely going to hook him up with some snipage. Okay, that and... We'll do this. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. All right. Get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this. 
Okay, we're not going to worry about money because um, we'll have a ton once we do that little cheat thing. And basically, you just kind of go... You always do that. You get a codex entry and just free experience. Uh, there should be a... Yep, this guy here. And there should be a rapid transit. Bueno. Alright, we need to go to CSEC. I think it's in the wards. And I think we have to go there for it to activate, so that kind of is unfortunate. Yeah, we have to go there first. Alright, we'll just walk there. It's just down this way. It's down the down the stairs, I believe. We can go talk to Emily Wong. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Alright, uh, was it? I thought there was a little view thing right around here, but maybe not. Okay, let us head to Seasick Academy. And to get to that place, you just go down there, down the stairs, and uh, Expiat, I think is the guy's name? Anyway. Always click on those things, it's just free experience. And I think you get some from this guy, too. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought oh, I'd meet like someone like Conrad. you in person. Uh, my name's Spoiler Lang. Alert. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? I have to go. Yeah. Right. You're probably real busy. We're actually See you around, super busy. Please let it be an awesome elevator ride. It is. Alright, we are going to get Gar uh, sorry, Rex, and then we are going to probably end it there. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, eyepiece is actually pretty cool. That wasn't in the first one. Uh, the original one. Oh, these elevator rides. Open the door. This dude is awesome. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on! Get out of here! Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a say. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Okay, we're gonna pick Rex, just because we're going to kill that dude. And we have to have Caden, because we need someone that's got some uh, tech abilities, so... 
I'm uh, going to level them up, and we're probably going to call it there. If you guys want me to do um, anything different as far as teammates go, just let me know in the comments. Also, like, subscribe. It obviously helps me, so um, I think that's it. Thanks so much.